Up next is Gerardo Pereira Rosas, who's taking glass etching to the next level. He also expresses a deep love for his Latin American roots. My name is Gerardo Pereira Rosas. I etch glass and um, basically I could do glass tables, bottles, um, basically silver stuff, which is like could be metal or aluminum and stuff like that. Anything that could be scratched, I could draw on it. What I like to draw is uh, Aztec heritage of, of um, the Aztec um, symbols, Aztec drawings, Aztec stones that they have seen and are in history. I get all the artwork together. If it's for somebody that's a present or something, it's basically what they want. And I kind of draw it out and then show them what they want. And then I get started with that. And then basically just get the basic outline, put it on the glass and then start scratching. It depends on how much detail is on the drawing. Sometimes uh, when it's feathers, uh, hair, it takes way longer because every little line is a little bit of detail and it takes a lot of time to do little lines at a time. With color, what I have to do first is kind of get the whole drawing done and then I put a, a white ink on it and then I use a razor and I kind of go over the, the top so it kind of takes off everything. And then what's on the line, it stays inside the line. so. That's what keeps the color in there. Sometimes I add a little bit of uh, color with the Sharpies and stuff like that, and then that's where the color c kicks into. I started since I was uh, a young, pretty young. Uh, when I was like around 15 years old, 14, 15 years old, I started doing uh, sunglasses and stuff like that for my friends and stuff. And then it started from there. And then um, basically I had a, a friend, close friend, that um, he started doing, he, I would see his drawings that he would do on glass, on cars and stuff like that. And I started asking him about like, how are you, how are you doing and stuff? And then he started just showing me how he does it. And uh, basically, I started doing it on on the on the cars too, and then my friends' cars, and then I started doing it on glass tables, and then I started doing it on uh, like tequila bottles and stuff like that. So it's like something new that people haven't seen, and uh, I don't know. It's been around for a while, but um, here in Milwaukee, we hardly see it. And uh, I guess when I started doing it, I mean, everybody that started seeing my car that I did the whole back windows and stuff like that. Uh, he, everybody started like, oh wow, you know, they started touching it and, and saying something good about it. So once I started hearing them, liking it, and the, the feeling of them enjoying the art, that's what kind of got me into liking that kind of style and how people like it and everything, so. Uh, my favorite one is the Aztec calendar, which I have right here. And uh, that's been my favorite. Um, I have tried to get rid of it, but I kind of sometimes don't want to because I like it so much. And then usually for something like that, I take quite a long time. For this one, it took me about two weeks and I will put like, like at least five, six hours a day. So it, it takes quite a while. I mean, all the detail, every line, everything put in the glass is kind of, you got to take your time and, you know, put a lot of effort in it. Uh, I, lo I love, I love uh, the Mexican art, which is something that I grew up with. Um, and I basically like showing it and like um, have people look at it and remember, you know what I mean? Like our style or people have seen it before but never seen it on a glass, but then all of a sudden it's like, wow, you know, the Aztec culture is like really important to me, you know, that's where I came from, that's where my family 
got racing, so I kind of loved doing the artwork like that. Uh, I don't know, I mean, what people feel is what they like, you know? And if uh, it's from their culture, they kind of feel more good about it because they see it. And when somebody does stuff like that, I mean, the people feel good about it, you know? When they see it and they like it, then I'm happy, you know? That's, that's what makes me proud of my culture and stuff. So, I mean, once I see people with a smile and they, they, like to, they like to take it home and stuff like that, then that's what makes me happy. <laughs> To find out more about Rosas, head to the Detroit Performs website.